So the current state of our game um, is that the ball continues moving off the screen. We want to bounce off the bottom of the screen. Uh, so the way we do that is we check, right? And the way we check for anything is with a conditional statement, an if statement. And so we'll go ahead and put that here in our code. And so you kind of think, where would you want to put it? Uh, well, we probably want to put it right here where all the ball code is, right? The ball position code. So we'll move the ball, and then right after we move the ball, we'll check. And what are we going to check? We're going to check all this stuff. Um, and what is this if statement that's talking about? Well, this first portion here means the top of the ball, the rect of the ball. Um, so again, a rect is positional information. So it's x position, y position, top, left, bottom, right, and uh, a few other fields that I haven't found a use for. Uh, but in this case, we want to worry about the top of the ball. So we just say ball rect dot top. That gives us the top, the position of the top of the ball. And so if it is greater than the height of the screen minus the height of the ball, that means that we hit the bottom of the wall, the bottom wall, right? And so if that happens, we hit the bottom wall, we're going to take the y value of the ball speed and we're going to flip its, um, flip its uh, sign. If it's positive, it's going to turn negative. If it's negative, it's going to turn positive. Which will change the ball's um, the change the ball's uh, vertical uh, direction, right? Because let's say it's equal to positive four, right? Positive four that means it moves the ball down. This clicks and it happens. And so thi since this happens, we're going to do this, which is going to turn ball speed one from positive four to negative four. Um, and then when we come back into the while loop, it's going to come right here to this function where we're going to move. And ball speed's y position, the, the y value, is now equal to negative 4, which is going to add negative 4 to the ball's uh, current rect uh, position. And again, we, if we add a negative to the y position, that means the object is going to be moving in an upward direction. So we move it up, and this doesn't happen because we're now not uh, at the bottom of the screen, and we continue to move up, 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 up. Um, until it catches where it hits the top of the screen, right? Where it bounces off the top of the top of the screen. Um, so you might see this error here, where it's underlined red. And the reason for that is because it, when you copy and paste from the tutorial, um, it adds invisible uh, characters. So what you need to do is erase and just type it in yourself. So you say ball rect capital dot height, which is an height is another uh, value that is stored in the rect object. So then now if I go ahead and run it, you can see it bounces. Oh, it does not bounce. Why not? Ball speed is, oh, OK. So ball speed is not a tuple. Item assignment. Oh. So I guess we do need to, in order to use this piece of code here, we do need to make uh, ball speed an array. So instead of using a tuple up here, I thought that we could use it interchangeably. We'll use an array. Array, again, we use the brackets instead of the parentheses. Um, and now we should be good. Okay, so let me go back and run it. Bounce. Okay. Um, and so now, I guess uh, the next, uh, the try now would be to make it bounce off of all four walls. So let's see if you can get that going. And again, to give you a hint, uh, to get that going, you would just need to add to this conditional statement. So it's like if bounces off the top wall, bounce. Else it bounces off the right wall, bounce. Else, else if it bounces off the top wall, bounce. So you're going to extend this unary binary, this unary conditional statement to be a, um, to to have a couple of more else ifs in it.